Violinist. Oh. She is 70. She is rich. Wrote plenty of money, but I don't know why she is. She is <laughs> very, uh, very cheap sort of ramen. <laughs> that's that's a good question. Yeah, the egg looks quite good though. It's quite big. But she's eating a very simple meal, right? Is it a like maybe fancy ramen restaurant? Or? Sorry. Is, is it a, a band mm -hmm. that she plays in? Oh, and she's a violi violinist. Which is which is which is even higher, violinist or vocal? Oh, that's a good question. Violinist or vocal? Violinist or vocal? That's a good question. In what kind of music? Band is always vocal, is front one. Yeah, 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 always, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It, like the violinist is really. Vocal. Vocal, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Drums, violin, uh -huh. guitar, bass. Vocal is al always front. Uh huh. In usually, yeah, if, if there is a vocalist, like usually that's the top position, right? Even in classical music, if it's uh, like opera, for example, the violin. The vocal is the main main instrument in. Which is prefer? Between the two? She is fantasy. <laughs> Probably the better looking. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. I think from all the band here, yeah, that's very interesting. What what kind of music do they play? I mean, violin, guitar, bass. I've never heard of. Uh, do they play like um like mixture between rock and classical music? I've never heard of the combination. Oh Describing this, so you have the, the group shot and there's like the individual shots, right? But the main one is the vocalist, like oh. you said, yeah. And by the sympathy, but I think that this is into uh, uh -huh. barring, barring guitar, bass, uh -huh. drums, not vocally singing. Yeah, by sympathy. <laughs> ah. sympathy. So kind of how many times they they come up, right? Yeah. And when they were playing without vocals, they didn't show them, right? They show like compilation, yeah. For a for a instrumentalist, yeah. For an instrumentalist, but I think that they are appearing when not vocals, not singing. Yeah, yeah. I I completely agree with you. Yeah, it's very many live performance when there's instruments they don't show them too much right yeah I feel sorry for them I feel sorry for them but then you saw the in the instruments but in breaks in the barring guitar bass and drums at their own screen yeah yeah you're right yeah they, they don't show them playing yeah 
That's very interesting. And then when the oh this this time this time this time right? But they don't always show them. Even now it's like quick. Oh no! Oh, you're right. But it's only a little bit. More kind of 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 more And it's quite long, their appearance. Whenever they do it, it's like the the vocal is a five second shot, but the instrument is like one second each. Yeah, I I know what you mean. It's it's not fair for for the instrumentalists. Even now, it's like one second, one second, one second. Yeah. Five seconds. <laughs> Which is prefer vocal or instrument? Instrument. <laughs> I for 17 years I, I play guitar. So if I'm trying to learn a new song on guitar, um, I want to see the instrumentalist play, but it's always long time on the vocalist. I agree with that. Yeah. That's a very fun band. What's the name of the band? East of Thank you. So the violinist is Ayasa, is it? Mm -hmm. Guitarist Yuki, music, drums. This band over here, right? Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to when I get oh, home. There is a door. English translation, probably. Oh! English translation. Let me see if I can find around here. Member, member, I Oh, and the members? If I search in English, uh, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is, there is. They don't have it. For this one, oh, there is like a website that is selling their uh, DVD, and the website is explaining it. East of Eden. Oh. Like the sound, the sound sounds pretty good. It's a very interesting band as well. I've never heard violin. Is our internet a little bit slow? I, I apologize. No. Oh, that's not this website at all. This one here? Fan.pia.jp. Is it this one? Oh, there you go. Biography? Mm. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wait, so she is the leader of the group? Could you provide the English translation? Sure, sure. Uh, should I start here? So I have a violin, oh, let me make it a little bit of here. Uh, violin producer leader from Tokyo. Uh, I'll correct it. <laughs> Started playing classical violin at the age of three. In 2011, switched over to pop music and joined Sword of the Far East for five years. I imagine it's a band. Uh, since 2015, uh, has been making music and performing shows actively as a solo violinist and is active in many areas such as TV commercials, etc. In 2018, her original song 
the reason why it became a worldwide, worldwide hit, uh, reaching number one in the charts in 46 countries. Oh, wow. In 2020, she was selected as a role of Lui Yashiro, the violinist of the fourth real band Morphonica from Bad and Dream Project, increasing her activity. Since 2022, all the original releases reached number one at the ID store, instrumental top songs. Interesting. On vocal, vocal, below, below her, so that is Akane Minato from Canada. In 2014, made the major debut as a member of Predia. Predia? Predia. Predia. Pre Predia. So being a lead vocalist, uh, was a lead vocalist until they split up in 2022. Uh, has been active as a solo artist after the split up. Uh, has been taking part in various different TV shows as vocalist with overwhelming skill and drawing attention by singing national anthem solo before the start of a professional base baseball game for three consecutive years, so on. Oh, so they all had solo career before the band. Yukita from Kobe City Kyungo, started playing guitar at the age of 17 in 2009 from D under slash underscore drive and started playing national wide nationwide shows actively. In twenty nineteen uh, got signed to Marshall Records, owned by British Amplify manufacturer Marshall, and made a worldwide debut. As a solo artist, I released guitar guitar instructional DVDs, uh, beginning of technical play, beginning of sweet peaking from at Tallas International. Appears uh, appeared on various different commercials such as Sony Smartphone Xperia and also experiencing collaborations with various artists. Oh wow, they're all very unique there. Uh, Okazaimo? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, lefty bassist. She's born in Tokyo, spending her, her early childhood in Shizuoka. Since her teenage years, has been supporting since her teenage years had started supporting shows and recording to famous artists and took part in various different companies' promotional videos and equipment reviews such as Artemis, Kefen in Japan, Gibson Japan Line 6, Yamaha Roland, etc. In May 2019, was selected as a bassist for Kotali, a band born out of the world's first franchise system by the band Maximum of the Hormone, Dario String Endorser, and Mizuki Drugs from Sapporo City, Hokkaido. In 2012, auditioned, auditioned for Mami Kawata's band and performed at Animalo Summer Live 2012 at Saitama Super Arena. Uh, later became active as a support drummer. Uh, currently, after moving from Sapporo to Tokyo, <coughs> started playing shows as a support drummer and Keijun player, Ooh. receiving offers for recordings uh, shooting music videos and TV programs, uh, drum lessons, motion capture, and so on. Characterized by brilliant performance and powerfulness. I have to actually search this word here, a Kajun player. I've never heard of a Kajun. Ah! Okay. That's a Kajun, I didn't know. <laughs> That's a very interesting group. So they're all mem like solo members but then they came together and formed a super group in a way right that's very interesting which would you prefer vocal or intro instruments definitely instruments and in that song uh, you played uh, the violin was very very cool why don't, why don't you choose vocalist you will be so up <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Uh, the vocalist is the only member in the band that can do music by themselves, right? They can sing and play at the same time. Hitting yeah. spot right. Spot right. Yeah, exactly. The instrumentalists don't usually do that. It's more like background. Yeah. But for myself, because I played instrument for many years, I'm more comfortable with instruments but it's a very interesting band and I like the fact that um, they have the violin 
with the guitars and the bass, it sounds really, really good. I really like that. I'm a vocalist. That's right, yeah! You do perform them. Oh, I'll get mine out of the way. That's a good performance. <laughs> That's a very good performance. It's a very difficult song to sing. Super such. Aerosmith. Aerosmith, right? So Aerosmith, I don't. Oh, oh, oh. I don't need the lyrics. This one, right? Why is it in any in English? <laughs> Wait, how do I change this? Like. What's the name of the vocalist? Sivitara. Sivitara, thank you. Yeah. I always remember him from his uh, daughter. Liv Taylor, right? That's a very good performance. This next part is difficult, right? Are you still taking uh, lessons in the music school? You are? Good, good, good. How's your teacher? She is, uh, she is kind or beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, uh, How long have you been taking uh, lessons with her? Maybe seven years. Oh, wow. It's quite a long time. Do you, how, you know, I, I've never, I studied, when I was in school we had music lessons, but I've never studied um, music outside of school, like in a music school. How is it? What what kind of like practice do you, do you have to do? She is a little, mm, she is a I have a friend I don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's getting warmer every day, it's getting warmer every day. Mm -hmm. it's, it's clear that summer is fast approaching. Mm -hmm. However, you don't care how hot it's getting outside. Since since you only stay indoors, being being a, being performance as a model at the studio mm -hmm. where it's nice and cool all year round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What have you been up to lately? Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to get to you know through Instagram somehow. Mm -hmm. 
who is a world famous model like you. Mm. Although I think most people in the world use smartphones with single screens, mm -hmm. I just got the general screen smartphone, mm -hmm. which is like two smartphones connected sideways. Mm -hmm. This allows me to watch a YouTube video on the left screen. Mm -hmm. While I check the pros of social media accounts on the right. Mm -hmm. That's how I can watch your model, modeling videos on the left and check your Instagram on the right. Mm -hmm. What do you think about my smartphone? Do mm -hmm. you like my JR screen smartphone? Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Or if you can give me your upcoming modeling schedule, mm -hmm. I'd be very grateful. Oh, right, 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 right. Good, that's a good one. That's a good message uh, for the the smartphone. Oh, this is really tricky. So, sideways. If I say connected sideways, I would say like this. Sideways. If it's like this, we use the word parallel. Par parallel. Yeah. It's really difficult to explain, but when we use connected, and let's put it both ways, so sideways and in parallel. So sideways would be like this and in parallel is like this. So connected in, in parallel. Mm -hmm. That's the only correction I have here, yeah. So like two smartphones connected in parallel in this case, yeah. But that was a good message. That was a good message. Mm -hmm. What uh, what kind of modeling does she do? She's in a studio. So it's definitely comfortable inside the studio. Not like oh. not like outside. What do you think what do you think my dog? Mm. I I I made this I made I made this sentence in my brains brains brains. <laughs> right, right. So you made it by yourself? Mm -hmm. Tell yourself, yeah. No, that's a really good message. I read. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
What do you think? Mm. You don't, you don't care, you don't care a lot. It's getting outside since you only stay indoors. Mm. Modeling at the studio where it's nice and cool all year round. Yeah, that's that's a good idea to send. Yeah, I like that. So if you change that to you don't care, however, it's of no concern to you since you are staying indoors, dancing and modeling, right? Then that flows a little bit better in English. Yeah, but the message itself is is nice. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. So she is a Italian fashion model. Mm. <laughs> so she must be quite busy, no? Yeah, does she do like, um, there's a, a fashion week in Milan. Does she do like stuff like that? Appearing mm. magazine. Oh, yeah. Or Instagram. <laughs> so she's definitely very busy during the year, right? Oh, that's pretty cool though! And you met her through Instagram? Mm -hmm. Right, 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 that's good! That's good! <laughs> she sounds she sounds nice though, right? So that's good. That's a good message as well. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I like the message you sent, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's really fun. Are you still keeping in touch with your uh, other friends? I want to, to. I want to um, take the forty-five to sushi. To oh, sushi restaurant. Uh -huh. But expensive. Mm. Quite expensive one. Mm. So is that is that like a proper sushi restaurant, mm -hmm. not the conveyor belt sushi? That's really nice. I like the the background. Where is it? Is it? Uh, up floor, we sit on it. Oh, like a uh, up flo upper floor. Can you sit on? That's very expensive now. Wow, that's a beautiful view. That looks really nice. How much is like a, a lunch course? It it fifty dollars per lunch. Yeah, that's still quite quite expensive. <laughs> uh, but the view is really nice. So that must be top floor or like eighth floor of Isetan, right? Yeah, I've never I've never been to the the, the top floor in Isetan. I know there's a lot of like restaurants around, right? I've never been there. That looks really nice, though. So you want to take her there? Mm, I want to. Mm -hmm. Could you put expensive sushi to me? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Expense sushi. Uh, would you like the food or like the service? Both, both. Both? Okay, so let's start with sushi. Sushi is... Depends on how much people know, but let's imagine she doesn't know anything, right? So, I'd like to explain like this. So, let me start slightly different. There are... There are... Different. Oh, I forgot the word. There are many different types of sushi, right? Um, so let's introduce different ones. Let's start with the more common. Um, actually, I will correct myself again. I apologize. Let's let's do like this. Let's start with the most common one outside of Japan Nigiri so for mm, most people outside of Japan this is the most common type of sushi Nigiri that's the most common one. Side of Japan. Japan. Nigiri. Mm -hmm. And here, let's make very simple, right? So, how could I describe Nigiri? So, Nigiri is basically, let's add a new expression, basically. Cut raw fish or seafood. 
on top of a warm bed of rice. So maybe you have two new expressions here. So I always like to explain cut raw fish or seafood on top of a warm bed of rice. Warm bed of rice. Warm. Beds of rice. Hmm? So when we explain the food right, well, this expression, a warm bed of, it's a very very unique way when you have like something that the reason is to hold something so a bed of something so imagine I have like spaghetti and there's like sauce on top a bed of spaghetti so to hold something yeah so that's like the basic way to explain it right what's like the second most common type of sushi what, what would you think Whoa, sushi. Whoa, sushi. Yo, so uh, sashimi, kind of like that, or oh, roll sushi. Roll sushi. Oh, I would, I would introduce. Very good. So, when I introduce, I always like to introduce <coughs> the name as well. So roll sushi, or maki sushi is. How could we explain it? Mm. Roll pressed rice wrapped around raw fish with nori seaweed Seaweed. Mm. Around the outside. So it's it's quite quite detailed. <laughs> so it's a uh, raw pressed rice wrapped around raw fish, raw fish uh, with nori seaweed around the outside. Here with crisp, crisp nori. Have you ever heard this uh, word? No, crisp. Body, body, body. There you go. <laughs> it's like that Frenching sound. Yeah. So crisp nori from around the outside. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so it's kind of describing it, right? For eating, um. Let's imagine this restaurant. How would you eat the sort of course that they bring you? Because there's many, like for example, if it's a um, conveyor belt sushi, you know, you take the plates, you put soy sauce on top. But fancy sushi is a little bit different. One by one, chef and Ah, so let's do like this. Let's imagine you're bringing her to this restaurant. So at this restaurant, this restaurant, the chef hand molds each piece of sushi preparing it before you eat or another way we can say this preparing it freshly in front of you 
So there's a few ways we can say this. Preparing uh, it uh, before you eat, or or freshly in front of you. There you go. That's basically the idea that I say, yeah. Do you do you recommend because a lot of foreign people make this mistake, do you recommend like deep dipping it in soy sauce yourself? Or no in this restaurant? Dipping soy sauce on the You dip it in, in the yeah. So this restaurant is okay, right, yeah. Cause some restaurants they don't like they pre um sort of pre-prepare the soy sauce so some restaurants don't like when you do that but this one you should dip it dip, dip it dip it in that Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I was looking at it online. I was trying to find a way to install it on the Mac, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. But apparently, um, this December, uh, they are going to release uh, Final uh, Resident Evil Eight Seven. 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 Is it the last one? Seven. That's why it's 8. 8, yeah, yeah. So they, they, in this December, on Mac, they're going to release uh, 8 and 7. Like, support for, for Macintosh, yeah. So maybe this game will come to Mac? But I'm not sure. My rank is still back. Oh, wow! It must have, it must have level up to gold. It must have level up to gold. Uh. But I'm Oh, right, right, right. So it's quite difficult to move up, right? I mean, online games? I've not played online games in many years, right? But I hear that the rankings are very difficult to move. And is it true that if you don't play it, your rank goes down? If you run, you run, you are ranking going down. Oh! So that is very, very strict. The way that you play it. Is this like uh, your main rank, like 3,645? I mean, that's a pretty good rank. Over 500. Oh, wow. Oh. That's quite a lot. And this is number of matches? Mm -hmm. 2,700 matches. That's a lot of matches. Can you tell me? Well, well so I, I imagine this is the amount of times you were first, second, third, fourth, and so on, right? What's what's the status on, on the bottom? Q ratio. Oh, uh -huh. it will. It will. Three. Zero point nine. Four. Ooh. Almost one. Almost one. Q ratio is very very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jill is 0 0.6, Claire 0 0.8, Night Owl 0.9. Oh! Hunk as well, 0 0.9. Ada is quite low. Ada seems like a difficult character to play, right? If you like, though, in English, for online games, we have this expression KD. KD ratio, but we don't need to say it. So, KD. Like the name says, kill death ratio. Yeah, oh, uh, I think 
You're absolutely right. KD. So kill death ratio. So I heard nowadays many people who play like online games, 